Thanks for joining me for another Airbrush Asylum video. In this video, I'm going to clear coat this Frankenstein artwork that I recently completed. If you haven't seen the tutorial on this artwork, be sure to check it out now. I'll pop a link in the description below. I'm gonna clear it instead of using two pack clear, which I normally would do. I'm gonna use some of this resin by U Resin, and we're gonna try that out and see how it goes over the Frankenstein artwork. So since completing Frankenstein, I have sealed it off with some Intercoat Clear by House of Colour, the SG100. Now the resin that I'm going to be using is the Liquid Glass Artwork Resin. This is an Australian made product, so I'm sure you can find something similar. And we're going to follow the directions on this and mix it at a 1 to 1 ratio with the hardener. So there's the part A and part B. Okay, so because this method of clear coating gets extremely messy, I'm gonna to have to prep up the bench, do that right now. Okay, so now using this plastic measuring cup, I'm gonna mix up both parts together and I'm gonna go ahead and use the one to one ratio on this part of the cup. So I'll put part A up to five and then part B up to five. So that'll give us equal parts of hardener and product. So I wouldn't need this much for just the Frankenstein, I probably only need about, you know, like a hundred mil mixed. I've got another few canvases that I'm gonna do as well. So I thought I may as well do it all in one hit, but I'll just focus on showing you guys how the Frankenstein's done. So pouring in part A up to that line. Try and be as accurate as possible. That goes with any sort of mixing of uh, products. So you can see that is up to the line now of the five. And if you look next to it, it's right on the 500 mil. So we're gonna add part B now up to the next line where it says the five again. And you can see that corresponds to a thousand mil. So we're mixing up a total amount of one litre. Okay, so now pouring in part B. You can see the hardener is a lot thicker. It's almost like the consistency of honey. And we're gonna go right up to that five. Once this is mixed, you need to use it all up because that hardener is gonna activate part A and obviously that's how the product will go hard. So if you mix up too much and you don't use it all, then you're gonna to need to throw out your excess. You can't just store it and hold on to it. So just mix up as much as you need. So again, what I'm mixing here is not just for Frankenstein. I'm clearing about a total of five canvases and two panels. Okay, so now part B has been added. You can see before mixing it, the distinct separation and I've got those equal parts one to one. Going ahead now with the mixer and giving that a really good stir. So you can see how thick that is, consistency. I just wanna make sure that that's totally mixed up to take your time with this step. Again, if you get a different resin, it may have different ratios, so be sure to check first. If it's a one-to-one -one ratio like this one, then of course you can follow along, but you need to follow the ratio that's listed on whichever product you purchase. If you're unsure, just get in contact with the manufacturer. They'll be able to help you. It's pretty mixed up. There's just another close up. You can see it's got quite a few bubbles in it. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of the bubbles. I'm ready to start pouring. So in order to apply the resin, I'm just gonna make sure that the surface is 100% clean, free of dust. So you can tack rag it. I'm just using an airbrush. You can also use like an air blower. I'm just going over this with the airbrush. It's not a huge image, so easy enough to clean it all off. Obviously make sure you've got gloves on if you're touching it. And then once you're satisfied that the surface is clean, pour the resin. So just starting in the center. Now it's gonna level out. So you wanna make sure that whatever bench you've got your artwork on is level. And then using one of these, we're just gonna go ahead and distribute the resin out. So now using this, I'm gonna work from the center to the edges. And you wanna make sure that you get the entire art covered. It's gonna feel a bit strange because it is so thick. At this stage, don't worry about any of the air bubbles. It's gonna be plenty of those, but I'll show you how easily it is to get rid of them. It's just about getting a nice even coat over the entire artwork. If it drips off the edges, look, that's part of it. You're not gonna be able to stop that. Once you allow this to dry, it is gonna level out even more. So that's just part and parcel. I don't mind the look of it. With something like this, I mean, you could resin it and then 
put a frame around it and then that way you're never going to see the drips anyway. But it's a great way to finish off your artwork if you don't have access to a spray gun because you can do this a lot safer and easier at home. I'd still wear, you know, gloves and a respirator even though there is not much smell at all coming from this. But um, for the purpose of this video, I haven't put a respirator on but I will um, put the extraction on again in a minute once I get this on. But it's great stuff to work with. Okay, so pretty happy with that coverage. Give you a quick close-up of how that's looking so far so you can see you've got a heavy gloss on there you know yes there are lots of air bubbles but you'll see they will disappear so that's what i'm looking for at the moment just make sure i've got every part of that panel covered now to get rid of the air bubbles i'm just using a heat gun i've put this attachment on because it spreads out the heat a lot more evenly and i can cover a larger area using this i'm just going to go in and this is going to You'll see the air bubbles just disappear. Hopefully you'll be able to see that on the video. So you can see I'm pumping quite a bit of heat on there. Don't be afraid to get up nice and close. You can see it's sort of almost thins out the resin again and creates that flow which you would be expecting if your two-pack cleared this. Now if I give you another close-up you can see those bubbles have disappeared. You can see it dripping off the side of the panel there. I've just got it propped up with some cups and I'll check it again before I go and let this fully dry. But how cool is that? You know, just so easy to do. All right, so here's the resin Frankenstein. Now, you remember I mixed up a litre. I also put some resin over this one. And I've also gone over the marbleizer because what I'm going to do is sand it and then airbrush back over that as well. And in addition to that, got another few canvases probably recognize some of these artworks. To continue your learning, be sure to check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've got listed here. And until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.